Hey girls, I'm back. I already have Benefit Professional Primer on my face and MAC Studio Flux Fluid Foundation. And now I'm just putting in the NC42 um, Studio Flux Blue. No, finish, sorry. <laughs> MAC Studio um, Studio Finish Concealer all over my highlighted areas. And I'll blend that out with a damp beauty blender. But of course I wanna make sure that it's highlighted all in my dark circles and have a jam vest while I'm doing so. Um, and then I'm just blending it out all thoroughly with the Damp Beauty Blender, of course. Making sure that there's no harsh lines and all that jazz. Next, I'm going in with a Banana Ben Nye Powder, and if you don't have any, you can get you some. You can find it online. Some cities have um, the Ben Nye Powder at theater stores because it's cosmetic like theater makeup, but it's definitely um, worth the money to get. I love it. I don't let it bake for too long because I don't want to, my face to like look weird when I do it. I don't know. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Whatever. But I just highlighted on, um, well, I just set my highlighted areas. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and go in and contour that face, girl, because I want a strong contour. I'm using MAC by Blunt. Oop, Blunt by MAC, sorry. <laughs> and I'm just going in and contouring all of the hollows of my cheeks and around my forehead, just to make sure that it's all blended out and it kind of gives some definition to my face. I love a strong contour. And then I'm gonna go in and just dust off all of the Ben Nye powder. Of course, then I'm going in with Milani Berry and more for my cheeks, just to give my cheeks a little rosy color. I love this color, it's very like raspberry-ish. It's not too pink, not too purple. Then of course, which everybody loves, me filling in my eyebrows. Um, I have them filled in just a tad because I don't have any brows and I don't know if I'm ready to show the world that yet. So <laughs> I'm just filling in my eyebrows with a just random pencil from the beauty supply store. You can do whatever you want. Um, I don't use gel, I use a actual stick that I have to sharpen all the time, which I'm gradually getting out of that, but that's always worked for me. So that's just kind of what I like. Then of course, I'm taking the same concealer brush that I use and I'm just cleaning up my brows a little bit just to um, kind of accentuate that brow bone. I usually don't put any foundation um, up there or any eyeshadow up there, so I kind of just use concealer just to make sure that all of it is kind of, you know, cleans up a little bit. And then I'm using the um, NYX eyeshadow base. Uh, it's just a clear like skin tone color base and I'm just blending that out and softening it up with my finger. Nothing special. This is an Urban Decay brush, that random brush I don't ever use. So I kind of use that because I didn't feel like getting my fingers messy too, well, too messy today. Okay, so first things first, I'm going in with NYX Strike Pose. It's very kind of like a nude shadow that I'm just kind of using for my transition color. Love this because obviously you see a little bit of color but not too much so it's just enough for me. Um, then I'm going in with the Dance the Tides by NYX as well. This is a dupe actually for Saddle um, Eyeshadow by MAC. So if you're looking for a dupe for some MAC, NYX is definitely the place to go because they're the bomb.com. And I'm using a Sephora brush that I paid like 16 bucks for, but I swear it's worth the money. Um, I love Sephora brushes, but I'm just blending that out just to get the liking that I like. Uh, you don't have to do it that much, but that's what I like to do. And next I'm going in with a um, primer again. This is Sephora Glitter Guard Eyeshadow Primer. It's 24 hours and I'm just putting that all over um, the corner of my lid because I just want glitter in the corner of my lid. But this I actually am putting over the regular base because it helps eyeshadow glitter stick. And I'm using the NYX Glitter Green Glitter. It's called Emerald. It is the bomb and I love it. It's so pigmented and this primer really helps. Um, the glitter stick. It's a loose glitter, so be careful. Obviously, you see a little bit fell on my cheek, but there's no problem. I can always dust that up. Some women like to do their eyes prior to their face, but you know, I don't know. I just like getting my face done first. But then, again, again I'm just going in just to make sure that I have that little pop of color in my corner. And I love this emerald. It's just so pretty, isn't it? Gosh. <laughs> I don't know what song I'm listening to, but obviously it's giving me a little bit of bop there. But next I'm just going in with a regular Sephora brush that I was using before for my crease and I'm just blending out the edges. I'm not really getting into the color because obviously it's glitter so I don't want it to go anywhere. <music> 
So next to transition that glitter green color because my whole lid is going to be green today. Um, I'm going in with the Dank by NYX and this is a beautiful green color. The greens are definitely different. All three green colors that I put on my lid are all different shades of green but I think that is what really helps this emerald kind of color on my eyelid come together and make it look so boss. Um, I don't go as depth as I really I guess could have with the colors but I just want to keep it kind of simple today and blend blend blend. Next I'm using my Sephora Pantone Uverse palette and I'm using the darkest green in this palette. They don't have a color but well actually I lied. Um, this color is actually called Dusty Olive and it is gorge. I actually didn't know it had a color name till right then so yeah and I'm just going in with my corners just blending it out and I'm taking it all the way to the glitter inside but I'm not adding more product. I'm just taking the little bit of product that I have blend 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 of course you know um, and I love some ratchetness so I'm just kind of blending it out and being ratchet at the same time girl you know sometimes you gotta have fun. Then next I'm taking a flat um, flat top brush with that same dank by NYX and I'm just lining the bottom lashes of my eyes just to give my um, bottom lashes just kind of a green fluorescent glow. Then of course I'm taking the same Sephora brush that I've been blending, blending, blending with. I didn't add any more product. I just took it um, to just blend out the bottom lashes. And then I'm taking just a cold liner that I found at the beauty supply store. <laughs> and just lining um, my waterline with just a black coal color. I'm not doing too much but I'm just kind of giving it a clean look and then I'm going to go in with my flat top brush again soon in a minute here and blend that out as well. But first, I got a jam. Next, I'm going in with Maybelline's um, just gel liquid liner. It's kind of a gel liquid liner. And then I'm just kind of giving myself a cat eye, but not really. Just um, following the natural shape of my eye. I'm not a big cat eye kind of girl, but I like a nice wing. So next I'm going in with L'Oreal Voluminous Black is Black Mascara. Um, it's waterproof and I love it. It definitely brings out the potential of my lashes and they're already super long so people think I already have like fake lashes on when I wear this stuff. If you're going to buy it, definitely get some makeup remover as well because it's waterproof so it's definitely not coming off with water at the end of the night. But I put it on the top and the bottom and yeah, just work it in these lashes girl. And if you get some on you like I just did, no worries. Just take your damp beauty blender and just kind of blend it out a little bit with the makeup that you already have on your nose and voila. Last but not least, let me wipe off these lips a little bit. I'm going in with MAC, kind of sexy, and obviously it's running a little low. I wear this religiously, but I definitely want to go for kind of a nude lip. And then I'm going in with Cork by MAC as well. And I always line my lip on top of the lipstick. I think I just it just looks better on me. I don't know. I'm weird like that. Then I'm going in with this nude lipstick by Flower. I found it at Walmart. Um, there's no actual name on the color. So yeah, I just found it in an aisle. I thought it was really pretty and that's what I'm setting it off with. So here's my completed look on my emerald eyes. You know, I gotta be extra for a minute. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. But please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.